Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So let's try to understand that how you can become a blockchain developer in 2023 if you are a complete beginner and why you should become a blockchain developer. All of the things we're going to discuss in this video, I'm going to share some of the stats which you can see and understand that what area you have to focus on, whether you have to go on the core blockchain development or whether you have to go on the DAP development. So this one is a very important video for all of you, those who want to start their blockchain development career and have less idea that what is the salary what is the use case of the blockchain what are the industries coming into picture and adapting this technology all of the stats i'm going to share and after that we move to the programming language that what are the programming language are available and if you are a beginner then how you have to start what you have to learn first and how you have to learn first so that's all we're going to discuss about in this video so on the very first list we have the banking system as i told you that decentralized finance is one of the biggest thing in the digital world so banking are adapting they are launching different product in terms of flash loans stake the 29.7 percent of the market share then comes the process manufacturing it has 11.4 percent we have the direct manufacturing is 10.9 percent and then we have the professional services it has 6.6 percent and in that me and you come into the pictures then we have the retailers then we have the other so retail stand for six percent and others stand for 35.3 percent so you can see the market and on the base of that you can decide that in which area you want to go so if you want to step into the field of banking then you have to understand that what are the products are available in the banking space and what product you can include to facilitate the system on the other hand if you look at the spending of cryptocurrency from 17 to 24 you will notice that in 2017 this total spending in the cryptocurrency was 0.95 billion but in 18 this number grew to 1.5 billion and in 19 it's reached to 2.7 billion and in 2020 it reached to 4.5 billion and in 2021 we have 6.6 .6 billion and in 2024 19 billion so you can see these numbers are exponentially growing, means different projects are coming in pictures and that's why the trade volume, the spending of the cryptos are getting very high. I have seen all the statistic of the blockchain growth and how it's performed in the past year and how it's going to be performed in the future. What are the companies are adapting? Let's talk about the salary that how much you will get as a developer. What is the average salary for new developer, experienced developer and what you can expect if you become a smart contract developer, if you become a smart contract dev developer, if you become a core blockchain developer. And now the average salary which I want to share with you all is for the blockchain dev developer. So you can see the experience based salary and as a free based salary so if you are starting with no experience you will get an amazing amount but if you have experience you can see the amount is exponentially growing so if you have a skill then definitely nobody can stop you and you can easily able to get the job i see that a lot of you are really conscious are really scared that is there is a market for a blockchain developer or not there is a market there is a market of everything if you have the skill and right now the salary is absolutely insane if you look at the normal development field like if you are go to the software development or android development or web development you you would never get this kind of amount as a starting package the growth of blockchain engine as compared to other development fields so if you go with the front end you can see four percent hike but on the other hand on the top you can see the blockchain engineer get 575 percent hike as compared to other developers so security engineer embedded engineer data engineer backend engineer machine learning Learning, mobile engineer full stack engineer and front-end engineer so blockchain engineer on top because there is a demand there is a less supply for the developer and there is a less skills available in the market so I believe that now you have the complete understanding that why you should have to focus on the blockchain development why you have to learn the technology as compared to other technologies are available the demand is very high the supply is very less and you can see the growth of the blockchain technology so it's going to be the future decentralized finance nft models core blockchain development all of these things going to be very high in demand now let's talk about the second part of our video that what are the skills you need to have to become a blockchain developer let's talk about that what programming language you have to focus to become a blockchain developer so we have multiple options to pick from but in this i'm going to highlight couple of programming language which you have to pick instead of picking the other one 
definitely all the programming language have some advantages and disadvantages but you have to focus in those programming language which is high in demand currently so once you focus on that particular language it's going to give you a boost and ultimately in future if your clients want you to build a specific contract a specific protocol a specific DAG on a different technology programming language so it would be very easy for you because you already know the work so here you can see here I would like to highlight seven programming language which you can pick from to start learning development so the first one we have is C C++ then the second one we have Python third one we have Java fourth one we have Solity fifth one we have Viper and sixth one we have Golan and the last one is the JavaScript so if you are a completely beginner and you want to learn about the blockchain development then I would like to highly suggest you that you have to pick JavaScript so focus on JavaScript first spend like at least 20 days in the next video, I will highlight that what are the functions, what are the variables, what are the topics you have to cover in the JavaScript to master and get ready as fast as I as a blockchain developer. So we're going to learn only those skills, only those topics which is very important in JavaScript as a blockchain developer, which you have to know. So again, a detailed video will come on this JavaScript that what are the things you have to learn. So once you master JavaScript, Okay, JavaScript is absolutely mandatory for every blockchain developer because if you look at the libraries which are available, if you talk about Web3.js, if you talk about Ether.js, if you talk about the frameworks, if you talk about the testing, Mocha library, Chai library, all of the things are available in JavaScript. So you have to master JavaScript first before you learn anything. So here I would not encourage you to focus on the theoretical concepts, start with the practical, learn about the programming language because gradually you will acquire all the knowledge about the theoretical. I can see many of you focus on the theoretical theoretical concepts so much that you not try about the uh, try the practical stuff. So focus on JavaScript first. Once you move done with the JavaScript, you have to move to Solity because once you learn the JavaScript, 80% work is almost done. Only 20% you have to focus on the Solity because JavaScript and Solity both are the same product, but they have a little bit differences. So if you're good in the class classes in JavaScript, then definitely you can easily able to master Solity. There is a slightly different in the syntax. So now let's talk about the process that how you have to start if you are a complete beginner, how you can learn about this entire technology, entire blockchain development. As I said that you have to start with the JavaScript. Once you're done with the JavaScript, you have to focus on the HTML CSS. I'm not telling you to be master on this because you have to know because when you will build a DAB, you need to learn about that, how you can customize the element, how you have to build a component. So you have to know that how HTML CSS work. First focus on JavaScript, then focus on the HTML CSS and then build a basic project so this project would be pretty simple in that you have to build a simple front end where you can to use all of this technology and then simply learn it and if you give you hundred percent every single day like three to four hours then this will not take you a month in the month you can easily able to complete the entire these three things so your 80 percent work is done if you learn about the JavaScript and the HTML CSS and there has come to the technology we we'll use regular while building the tab so you have to know that how the remix ID functions. So I want you to spend two days at least. First day, try to explore, write the contract, test different plugins, test different testing frameworks, use the remix ID extensively, connect with different protocols, different blockchains. So know about the remix ID. JavaScript, HTML, CSS, then build a project and then learn about Remist ID. After that, you have to move to the Solity and this will be a piece of cake for you because you have already done the hard work. You have already done your 80% work and here you have to focus on the next 20%. So in that you have to know that how the class construction work, different different keywords we have, UNT variable type we have. So both the types are same, but the syntax are different. So you will learn about it, that how you have to learn. So here you have to focus on 20%. And if you master this part, it will take close to like close to 10 days. If you good, really good in the JavaScript, then this will take you only 10 days to master it. Again, I have a complete course on this, which will teach you every single thing about the solidity. So make sure to check that. After that, you have to build smart contract. And here I would recommend you to build at least 15 to 20 smart contract, 15 to 20 with different industries. So again, I have a complete playlist. Make sure to check that. And that I have mentioned that how you can build a smart contract for a social media platform how you can build a smart contract for ERC20 token, how you can build a smart contract for health industry, financial sector. So build different contract, try to include different functionality.
and that all will be possible once you will be good in these two so this two is absolutely at least 10 to 15 contract then you start learning about the metamask wallet so you will automatically learn about the metamask wallet when you will start using this remix id but you have to learn that how you can add a custom network custom protocol and this will not take more than uh, an hour or two so learn about this that how you can connect with different how you can add your own custom wallet okay so these are the seven things you have to master first javascript html css build project remix id then solidity then we have the build contract then we have the crypto wallet metamask let's move to the next step next seven point and in that you have to learn about these frameworks so these frameworks are very important for you as a smart contract developer because you have to test you have to deploy and how are you going to do that you're going to do using this framework so first after the remix id sorry after the crypto wallet you have to start learning about the hard hat and truffle both are the same which use for testing and development of the contract i use hard hat mostly preferred because it has an easy to use interface and the framework is absolutely amazing so i would say that you can pick anyone both are same and you can start with the hard hat i have a complete playlist on that you can simply follow and you will learn everything so it will also take only one day if you give five hours times we will be master hard at so turn, learn about that how chai and mocha library work in the testing framework how to deploy a contract how to follow a structure how to do the configuration of different network and deployment of the network so that everything is covered in the hard hat so make sure to learn about hard hat after that you have to learn about the mocha and chai library which will be, which you will cover definitely when you will start focusing on the hard hat because in that we use mocha and chai library for the testing so once you're done with the hard hat then move to the mocha and chai library after that you have to pick any framework so right now we have multiple framework for building our app so you have done all the hard work for writing the smart contract for the deployment for learning about the protocol how to behave after that you have to pick a framework because right now if you look at the companies and if you get a freelancing project all of those they want you to build a application using any one of these framework you can build using the html css and javascript that's absolutely fine but if you have the skills on these frameworks like react.js next.js and typescript you will have a very good advantage so start focusing on the javascript and the reason why i told you to master javascript because you can see that these frameworks are built on javascript react.js next.js and typescript so i would suggest you to go with the next.js which is in the middle and which is very high in demand and there is a lot of features you can able to make an api call as well so focus on the next.js or react.js or type.js whatever you are comfortable with after that after that you have to understand that how nft work exactly how you can build different models and different project and you're going to use this nft feature of the smart contract to facilitate your user and provide your service so how you understand how nft work after that understand how DeFi work that how you can build a decentralized app how the exchange happen how the liquidity happen how the protocol interact how you can stake the token how you can make the reward logic how you can make the erc custom token and it's going to fluctuate the pricing so you have to understand the nfts and DeFi, and after that you have to build a project and this project is going to be your portfolio so in that i the two project i want to recommend you to build is nft marketplace and uniswap clone and you can add one more for the DeFi, like token staking dab so these are the three project which is absolutely must for you to add in your portfolio it will give you a strong fundamental because everything whatever i have highlighted here in this entire roadmap i everything was used in all of this project so you have to build at least these three project nft marketplace uniswap clone and token staking tab and that should be your roadmap for the next two to three months so if you follow this particular roadmap and the step which i have explained to learn and build you will be a very strong in dab development and you will learn about all the fundamental as well and the reason why i not encourage you to focus on the theoretical concept because you will forget and when you will build the dab when you will do the things practically everything will be stick in your head so try to follow this roadmap first start with the javascript learn about the html this will not take more than a two days the maximum time you have to spend right up here in javascript this will take more than one or two days two to three days if you give like proper focus after that you will build a project this will take at least two days or maybe three days after that this remix id it will take only one or two days and i want you to take two days because the more time you will spend the more thing you will learn after that move to the solidity and this will take up let's let's imagine that it will take 20 days for you so it is uh, like a week or 10 days for you then build contract then understand this will take only one day after that once you're done with that just focus on the harder framework then focus on the mocha and chai library then focus on the javascript framework and this will take like you just give 10 days i would say 10 days 
learn about then porn hooks again a detailed video will come on this that what are the hooks you have to master i would only recommend those hooks which i use on the project so you guys can understand and you guys can master and you should not just just revolve around the learning the entire framework because you will learn gradually so a detailed video will come on this that what are the hooks you have to use and what are the hooks i use personally in the project in the dab development and we understand the nft it will take only one days give one day for the defi and build project this will take like 20 days give 10 days for each project i know this video is pretty long but these are the thing you have to follow if you really want to become a good blockchain developer so i want you to follow this for the next two and a half month if you give every single day like three to four hours you can be ready for the blockchain development okay as a blockchain developer so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video definitely in the next video we'll talk about the javascript that what are the things you have to learn only i'm not recommend you to learn about the closer and all of the things that you will learn gradually when you will build more project but i want you to focus on those topic which you're going to use regularly for the deployment of the contract building lodging interacting with the front end interacting with the blockchain so those are the things we're going to learn specifically so our development and the learning process should be fast